Perched atop a hillside overlooking the town of Cripple Creek, Colorado, is the St. Nicholas Hospital. Completed in 1898, it served miners, prospectors, and their families, flooding to the region in the late 19th century. Sister Mary Coleman was sent to Cripple Creek from Denver to set up the 15-room hospital that was to be operated by the Sisters of Mercy. Floors one and two were for patients, and the third was the living quarters for the sisters. In 1924, a series of local doctors purchased and privately operated the hospital until 1972. The hospital sat vacant until 1995 when it was purchased and remodeled into the beautiful bed and breakfast that it is today. Since the opening of the hotel, a number of people have experienced unexplained events most notably, a mischievous boy named Petey, who was believed to be an orphan in the care of the sisters. Another lingering spirit is of a man called Stinky, who emits a horrible odor and is seen lurking around the back stairway landing. Tonight, I will be investigating room 11, the operating room. Cameras and environmental equipment have been set up in the room, bathroom, and the second floor hallway landing to capture any events that might occur. Baseline EMF and temperature readings were recorded. They showed no abnormal fluctuations. Is there anybody in this room that would like to speak with me? My name is Paul, and uh, I know a little bit about the history of this facility. It used to be a uh, hospital at one time, and this room right here used to be the operating room. You know, you probably never spoke with anybody for a lot of years, so uh, I'm here. I'm willing to listen to what you have to say. Seems I keep talking over you. Like I said, my name is Paul and I'm from Denver. I'm married and have three children. Do you have any children? As you can clearly hear, there's nothing coming through the spirit box until I receive these relevant responses that are truly amazing. You want to move somewhere else, maybe into the restroom? Would this be better for you? Can you tell me how many fingers I'm holding with? If you can see me. It sounded like you said, I don't know. Try again. Two. Two. It sounded like you said two. I'm actually holding up three. Petey. Are you Petey? Yeah, Petey. The spirit box is set to sweep at four channels per second. So that means this next response is coming in over four different frequencies. Petey, yes, I heard you, Petey. Petey. 
Here two light anomalies emerge from the floor as if they're playing a game of tag. This Class A EVP was captured as my wife and I were getting ready to go to bed. Let's hope this isn't one of the sisters talking about Petey. At 1.50 a.m., the digital voice recorder sitting next to me on the chair picks up this EVP. Here are more EVPs that were captured during the night as we slept. The St. Nicholas Hotel is a beautiful bed and breakfast, but with its 74 years of operating as a hospital, one would think the pain, suffering, and death experienced would leave an everlasting impression on this environment. It appears it has.